Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of an Aussie Farming in the Philippines. Today is first day, so that means we have to make pizza base. And our subscribers asked us, you showed us many pizzas with Ai Hai making pizzas on a Friday night. Can you show us how you make your dough the night before? So I'm going to show you how to do it. Very easy ingredients, guys. Okay, so I'm going to give you, I'm going to give you a half recipe tonight. That is two of the large pan pizzas, which I do the cast iron pans. That's two of those. Quite easy. And um, what's in it? Flour. Pizza flour or double O flour. Okay, so with this one, it's a half recipe, so it's 285 grams, 285 grams, and it's of sifted flour. Sifted flour. So this was all neutralized, set to zero, right at the start of the bowl and the sifter. So in there is 285. So I'm quite happy with that. Yummy. Right, what's next, he said. Well, I'll tell you. You'd have salt, you'd have sugar, and you've got to have yeast. That's it, okay? Put different types of yeast out there on the market to see what's available to you and what type works, because we've had some that don't work. We've had some flails, haven't we, I? Yes, right, hang on. I, you get the dough hook, the one that mixes here, the hook, in that side one. Right, Ugh. okay. I'll throw this one in. Now, next is your sugar. Now, normally with some of these pizza dough ones, right, it is water, sugar and yeast mixed together when it froths up to a big head. That's it. When it froths up to a big head, then you put it together. This one, you don't. And that's why I think this one works out so bloody good, guys. So good. So, flour's in there. All right, get my special recipe out. Right. So 285. Sugar, 10 grams for this recipe. It'll all be in the description box, guys. All be in the description box. Right, 10 here, got 9.2, I want to be just about there, oh, look at that, dead on 10. Right, throw the sugar in the flour, throw the sugar in the flour. Salt is a lousy 3 grams, this is like a, a, free, a free finger sally, okay? A free finger sally, trolls will know what I'm talking about on that. There we go, look at that, that's it, salt as well, throw it in. Then turn this on to mix. Let this all mix together. Right, plug this in and watch yourself. Oh, oh where's the hole? Gotta shave it first. Right, drop this down. Let this go. These mixes, mate, Kimball's, these KitchenAids are absolutely incredible. Absolutely incredible. Even the big German guy, he fell in love with these. Right, so what's to do next? Well, I really don't know. Right, try different yeast. There's all different types out there, guys. Some of you can get pizza yeast, satchels and all that stuff. Let's just try it. Now, the water. You need 177 grams. Now, it's got to be... It's got to be at 100... Normally, it's around 100 to 110, but this recipe calls for it at 95. So, 95 Fahrenheit. Now, in the Philippines, your water's... Our water here is um, normally around is normally around um, 85, so it doesn't take much. So 177. There you go. Right. So, thermometer. <laughs> Fahrenheit, see, the air temperature is 84. This is 104 at the moment, so I've got to let this cool down a little bit more and I'll be back, back at ya. Otherwise you'll kill your yeast. So we're now at, uh, at our temperature, 95. Three. Right, now, this is where your secret part comes. Use vegetable oil, don't use olive oil. I found olive oil doesn't work too good. So give your pot, give your pan a little bit of a lining. Okay, this is what we're gonna transfer it to. Just give it a rub down like so. All right, nice rub down. Some put flour on it as well, you do that if you want. I never do, I'll just do that. All right, that's ready to go, that's done. Put the yeast inside here now. So simple guys, this is the most simplest and I'll tell you we've tried all different types. 
different yeast, different flours, and hard thing in the flour, flour in the Philippines. My God, it's bloody hard, I tell you. I tell you, Charlie Brown. So um, we're lucky we got some from Germany. Very lucky. Right, just give that a stir. Now there's no sugar in this, so it's not gonna froth. All your sugar is in with your flour and salt. Trust me, this one works. This one works, guys. Right, power on. That's it. Now just leave it, it will come together. And when it's come all together, just give it a little trick of oil down the side. Just a little like quarter of a teaspoon. That's all you need. That's all you need. We'll come back to you. Alright, just leave it and it will come together, trust me. You think, oh, I need to put more. Don't touch it. Don't fucking touch it. Leave it. Okay, now it's on at this stage. Just the right, like half a teaspoon. Come on, baby. That's it. Just let it do its magic. Alright, look at that. Look at that. You do it by hand if you want. Fuck that. Well, that's done. Put it into the bowl. Give it a push down like so. Cover it in some cling wrap. Put it in the fridge. And we'll be back tomorrow afternoon at 3 o'clock when we take it out the fridge and we show you what we do next with it. That's it, guys. Into the fridge and let it sit overnight. And that will stay there until 3 o'clock tomorrow. That will stay there for. Voila. It's that simple. Right. Let's go to tomorrow. Right, well, guys. Welcome back to the next day. 3 o'clock. So what I do now is it's the next day and it's three o'clock. So I get my cast iron pans out. I have uh, three of this size and one's the larger one. So I give them a nice oil up as well, but I use vegetable oil, corn oil, anything like that. Sunflower oil, olive oil I found, it's a different temperature for it. So normal vegetable oil, give it a nice greasing around, done. So back over here. Click, click, click. Right, right onto our board. Spread some flour. Spread some flour around. Right, nice, nice, decent dunk of flour. Look at that. So using your fingers, I put some flour around this, like so. So there's many ways to skin a cat, but this way it scrapes it off without sticking. Look at that, see? Look at that. Voila, done. Knife, where's the knife, where's the knife? Now this is a half recipe, remember? So, rub it right up, look. Cut this one in half, voila. Some people say, that's not how you make a pizza. Well, I really don't care how you make it. I just don't care. This is how I make it. Now this is gonna rise now for the next three to four hours. Okay, it's going to rise. So you don't have to worry about saying, oh, you know what? No, it's not going straight in the oven. This has got to rise yet. It's got to rise. So you can get it and pull it. Pull it with your fingers. Okay, to make it bigger. But what I do is a secret. Now remember, this is going to sit for the next three to four hours. Okay. And I'll tell you, they work work out perfect so let's give it a roll out like so now these pans one pan we bought from Australia very high quality you've had it for years and it's got a rough base on the bottom of it uh, sorry a very smooth base very very smooth base on the bottom chick ordered um, two from Lazada and they're very very rough now the rough ones are better because it holds the pizza in the smooth one they can shrink back and you've got to go back again later on okay that, look. Now it's warming up. Remember, this is only just come out of the refrigerator, guys. Okay. Now, drop them in. Just like this. Now this is going to rise for the next three to four hours. Okay. This will puff up nice and big. That's it. Done. How simple is that? Hey? How simple is that? They've got it in a warm spot. Now, the Philippines is always warm. Oh, hello, Martin. Hello, everybody. Right. Busy, busy. busy. So, the Philippines is nice and warm. So that I keep this in the bar room out of the air conditioning 
and it absolutely works. Okay, so like normal pizzas, you stitch it with your fingers. Okay, no, I don't flip it up in the air and do all that shit. No, not good. I seen one pizza guy. He was so good. They put a they put a bag over his head, and I thought, oh shit, he's been doing that to his missus too long. But uh, what he does, from start to finish, he puts it on. I see, you pull it like this, like that. Look, see, you pull it, just like that, and there she comes. And you just flip it from side to side, and you pull it at the same time. Some pick it up and do that. Right, it doesn't matter. Just get the bitch in there, spread it out. Okay. Now remember. This is going to rise for the next four hours. Pizza go in the oven at seven o'clock. Look at that. That's it. There you go. So I'll cover these now. We'll cover these with a very light, damp cloth, cheese cloth, and put them into the bar room. That's how we prepare our pizza bases, as by one of our viewers' request. So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you've learned something from it. Like I said, I'll show you what it looks like when we start to make pizzas at 7 o'clock. Alright guys, nearly 6.30. So I'll put them off and please come and have a look at this. Look how much they've risen up, look. Look at this, look. Ooh. I like to keep them like that so it's nice and spongy, look. Put it on nice and gentle. How's that? It's a good recipe guys. Look at it, look, look, look. See that? So now, it's just tin tomatoes, peeled tin tomatoes, with about half a dozen sweet basil leaves in there. Sweet basil. Hit with a stick, Zzz, done. Mozzarella cheese with um, parmesan cheese mixture, with that to make it nice and light. And tonight we're doing the same as they always like, is a ham and pineapple. It's only cheek cheek tonight because I.I. is not here being Easter Friday. Some caramelised onions is going on with the pepperoni. This is pepperoni we get from the German deli. In it, tug them. Right. I'm just going to wait now for the oven to heat up more and then we make pizza. <laughs> Good one, Martin. So Martin's with us again for pizza night at the farm, guys. So remember, get your, get your tomato around, don't go too close to the edges. As I said to I, I definitely keep the cheese away from the edges, stick into the pan. They're bloody hard to get out, guys. They're hard to get out. So a nice layer, look. Look at that. This is going to be nice and thick base, this one. Nice and thick base. Oh, God, look at that. Nice and thick. Not as thick as some people, Stacey. But still yummy, still yummy. Look at this, look. Now when I was in Vietnam, they would put the base down like this, I put the tomato on, then I put all the ingredients on it, and then they cover it with cheese. And of course the cheese would bake, bake like, a, um, like a pie, and all the ingredients inside were always half raw. And I tried to tell them to put the sauce down first, followed by the cheese, and then your ingredients on top. And I said, no, 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 that's not how you make a pizza. I said, well, I make pizzas every Friday night, and I'm pretty sure I know how to make a pizza. I'm pretty sure I know. Sort of like, it may not be perfect, but I'm fucking close to it. Look at that, look. Nice, nice, nice. Nice, nice. Nice sticky pizza cheese, guys. Right, next one. Okay, hand pineapple and a little bit of pepperoni. No, salami with this one. A little bit of salami. Look at that. Just drop it down, nice and sexy. Look at this. And the next one we're going to make after this one is going to be a pepperoni pizza. And that pepperoni pizza actually is going to have some caramelised onion. I want to try something different tonight. I want to take it to the next level. What, right, you're talking anal here? No, I'm talking about some caramelised onion. Look at that. Gorgeous. Absolutely bloody gorgeous. Okay. Pineapple. Or I will place each one down individually, right into a spot. Me, I just whack it on. Just whack the bitch on. Look at that. Look at that. 
And there's some leftover I feel. Some snacks for Chick Chick. There are going to be many. That's it. Right. There we go. Done. Put some hoops on there and slap its bum. Right, next one. Pepperoni. I love pepperoni, guys. I love that shit. This is the real good stuff. This is from um, Spain. I think you got this one here. This one here from. I'll tell you, very, very nice. Very nice. Mm. Oh, fuck me, look at that. Look at that, perfect. Look at that, guys. Perfect. Put some strips of caramelised onion on. Caramelised onion with hot dogs is just fucking beautiful. Chick made it up the other morning with um, Hungarian sausage. I'll tell you, it was gorgeous. Absolutely good. Hungarian sausage has that little little bite to it. Not too much. Just a nice little bite to it. That. Tell you what. All this and it goes into the into the barbecue, guys. Yeah. Voila. Find the herbs now. Another light sprinkle of parmesan over the top. It's the light sprinkle. It's already mixed in with the cheese. Okay. Try it, guys. You'll like it. Some herbs. This one is called pizza. Don't go overboard with it. Less is best, all right? Less is best. Jack! What do you want? Pepperoni first or ham and pineapple first? I always do. All right, baby. All right, let's go, guys. Ham and pineapple, going in now. That only takes 10 minutes to cook, guys. So it's sort of like, um, very easy. Oh, hun, what's the door? Very easy to do. All right, let's put them up there. I'll turn the lights on in a sec. All right, rain stopped at last. Been raining since um, three o'clock, quarter to three. I think it was three o'clock. So have a look at that. There we go. It's on the, this is the two burners on here. These two don't work, so I blocked them off. It's got the volcanic rocks on it and on high. And I block off all the holes, all the holes with foil, like so. Because I don't have budget for a pizza oven. But when I do have budget, I'm going to get one. I've been thinking about it for a while now. So block everything off like that. And yes, the bottom's open. What the fuck will you do about it? But I tell you, 10 minutes, that pizza's cooked. Five minutes into the cook. Turn it around. Done. Another five minutes. It's done. All right, guys. First pizza out the oven. Come and point it. Don't forget oil your bases, guys. Look at that. There you go. Look at that. Well, I find these fin cutting boards absolutely perfect, guys. Put it on. Look at this. Voila. There you go. There you have one delicious pizza from the Aussie farm in the Philippines. Number two is coming. Okay, so the first one is ham and pineapple with a little bit of um, salami yeah. that was left over as well in, and a little bit of caramelised onion. Not much, just a light little taste. Mm. So bon appetit, have a try. Bon appetit, thank you. How's it look? And should we get more of that salami from Thomas? I definitely think so, mm -hmm. definitely. I will inquire. Hello, Thomas. And you watch this video. There you go, guys. Oh, look how stretchy oh, that is. My. Oh, God. That's beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> look at that. Pepperoni. Pepperoni, little bits of caramelized onion. It's going to be okay. Right, there you go, guys. Baked pan baked pizza. Pepperoni. And caramelized onion. Hello, guys. Hello. Coming through. Coming through. That looks better. Uh, I'll tell you. Pepperoni. Yummy. We'll go back to the fin base next week, but yeah. just for this one. Let's do that. It comes to a close of our night. So, this is how we make the pizza bases, as you've seen. Do it the day before. Pull it out at, say, 3 o'clock. If you're going to be cooking at 7, give it at least 3 to 4 hours to rise, and you will get. That nice rise on your pizza. That's a thick base pizza, Very as you can nice see. Look. 
So, bon appetit, guys. Thank bon you, Martin, appetit. for sharing pizza night with us. Check, check. Thank you, darling. Love you up. Love you. All right, guys, please share, subscribe, and like. And if you want the recipe, it's down in the description.